Tinder here and today we're going to start our Tinder app by creating the the swipeable card feature that Tinder has. You know that you in the main screen you have cards with people and you either swipe left or right. That's what you are going to try to implement into our application. Now most important we are not going to create it. We are going to use a library and I'm going to show you how it works and how you can use it. And the reason why I, I, we are going to use a, a library is because it is really well done and we don't want to overcomplicate things. So if a library exists, don't create it, just use it uh, and give the shout out to the people that created it because they do, did an amazing job. So I'm going to grab a page here of the library that you're, we are going to use. The link is down in the description and it is called Swipe Cards. Uh, okay, so... Um, okay, in order... Uh, the, the, the library looks like this. As you can see, it is exactly what you need. We have to make some alterations in the, the, the near future, but for now, it, it suffices. It is enough. So let's go into our Android Studio and actually start a new project. In the, this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you have basic knowledge of uh, uh, Firebase, of uh, Android Studio and Firebase. So, if you don't understand something, please stop and go look at either my tutorials or other people's tutorials because there are a lot of good uh, lessons in YouTube uh, about Android. So, the first activity is going to be an empty an empty activity, we can, we can leave it as main activity, so just create. Let's wait a second and wait for everything to load up. Okay, after that has finished loading, we can go into our Gradle scripts, build Gradle, and in dependencies we are going to add Just close that, okay? We are going to add the dependency of this uh, library. So go into this Gradle, please, because in here he, he only has a general uh, dependency. So we need the, the exact number. And, to, and we can grab this one. And that's the one we need. So just copy and paste it here and sync it. Okay, after that is done, we can go into our main activity and we are going to go in here into the example and we are going to copy just what, what uh, let's also grab the resources because we already need it and close that. Okay, we are going to go into my activity and we are going to copy everything that's inside. Okay, make sure you import everything. Actually, this is not necessary. Import, import, import. There is activity main. Oh, and here it is swipe Think adapter view. In container equals to swipe in container adapter view, find view by ID or point ID point frame. You are going to create this actually just after just after we we finish importing everything and making sure everything is up and running. In here, I don't know why he created it like this, but okay, you can work around it. But those dot when short dot short. Right, 
this girl we don't want to show anything for now. And right and click we can say click. I'll explain everything just in a second. Okay, so in here we have um, everything that's needed. We are going to create these uh, these things, these layouts, these IDs, so don't worry. Uh, but for now I'll explain it. This add is, as you could see, let me just, yeah. So this add uh, is the name of the card. With each add, another card is added. Okay, so then he adds it and he adds it into an array and that array has a name that you don't need the this text each card has the as this text and then it, it has a layout that we are going to create this layout is the text field the color is the card in itself then we move on to the fling listener the fling listener is when he does that he clicks and uh, moves the the card and uh, yeah every time uh, a card is completely removed he just removes it from the, the array he notifies that something changes in the, the adapter and that way you remove it from the from the the, the array that you are using. Then you have on left card exit, on right card exit, that's really self-explanatory. And on an adapter about to empty, you'll see that uh, after this all is done, an XML0 appears. And that XML0 is appearing because of this uh, function, because you didn't add it anywhere. And we are going to use it in order to add more and more uh, people to our Tinder app. You're going to see it, it, this library is really well done, so yeah, you're going to use it. So, first of all, let's create the item.xml. You can leave it like that because we are going to copy it from here. You can close that, close that, go into layout, item, and you're going to need this. This is the card in and of itself. You can see, okay. You don't need this string, let's just call it something else. Hello. Doesn't matter. Close that. Okay. Now it appears. Let's move. No. This ID is needed. And then we are going to go into our activity main. And in here we are going to add, let me go in here, activity my, because we call it something different. So let's just grab this and just copy and paste it there. And all errors are removed. So let's run it and see it working. There we go. Okay. Okay, so here it is, and I'm going to move it, and as you can see, it works just like Tinder. Can go right, left, oops, can even click. And after this all is done with, then this on adapter about 20 is going to be called, and an XML dot something is going to be added. So yeah, that that's everything. A really big shout out to Dionysus. I believe that's his name. Go check out his work. It is really well done. So yeah, um, that is all for now. In the next lesson, we are going to create the login and registration part of the app. It is an integral part, so we are going to take care of it really early. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe, donate if you can. Uh, I've created a Patreon that's